Fitz, I am Shoham Bera, Senior Consultant Optometrist from India. Today I am going to tell you about myopia control acuo for nearsightedness. Let's start it. If you friends like our video, please like us, share us and subscribe us. In this video, I am going to tell you about what is myopia control, first atropin eye drop control from myopia, orthokeratology, multifocal contact lens and multifocal eye glasses, early detection of myopia, myopia control for adults, can any eye exercise cure myopia? If your child has myopia or nearsightedness, you are probably wondering if there is a, any cure or at least something that can be done to slow it progression. So your child doesn't need stronger glasses year after year. For years, eye care practitioner and researchers have been honoring the same thing. And there's a good news. A number of recent studies suggest it may indeed be possible to at least control myopia by slowing its progression during childhood and among teenagers. What is myopia control? Although an outright cure for nearsightedness has not been discovered, your eye specialist can now offer a number of treatment that may be able to slow the progression of myopia. These treatments can induce changes in the structure and focusing of the eye to reduce stress and fatigue associated with development and progression of nearsightedness. Why should you be interested in myopia control? Because slowing down the progression of myopia may keep your child from developing high level of nearsightedness that requires a thick corrective eyeglasses and have been associated with some serious eye problem later in life, such as early cataracts or even our retinal detachment. Currently, four types of treatment are showing promise for controlling myopia, atropine eye drops, multifocal contact lens, orthokeratology and multifocal eyeglasses. Here's a summary of each of these treatments and a recent myopia control research. Atropine eye drop have been used for myopia control for many years with effective short-term result. But use of these eye drops also has some drawbacks. A study has revealed that eye specialists in Taiwan are routinely prescribed atropine eye drops for nearsighted school children in hopes the treatment will slow the progression of, of childhood myopia. Topical atropine, topical atropine is a medicine used to dilate the pupil and temporarily paralyze accommodation and completely relax the eye's focusing mechanism. Atropine typically is not used for routine dilated eye exemption because its action has a long standing and can take a week or longer to wear off. The dilating drops your, your eye specialist use during your eye examination typically wear off with a couple hours. A common use of atropine this day is to reduce eye pain associated with certain type of uveitis like inflammation in our eye. Because researchers suggested nearsightedness in children may be linked to focusing fatigue. Investigators have looked into using atropine to disable the eye focusing mechanism to control myopia. And, and a result of studies of atropine eye drop to control myopia progression have been impressive. At least for the first year of treatment, four short term studies published between 1989 to 2010 found atropine produced an average reduction of myopia progression of 81% among nearsighted children. However, additional research has shown that the myopia control effect from atropine doesn't continue after the first year of treatment and that short term use for, of atropine may not control nearsighted significantly in the long run. Interestingly, one study found that when atropine drops was discontinued after two years of use of myopia control, children who are using drops with the lowest concentration of atropine, 0.01%, had some sustained control of their nearsightedness than children who were treated with stronger atropine drop 0.1% to 0.5% they also had less rebound myopia progression one year after the treatment. 
Also, many eye specialists are reluctant to prescribe atropine for children because long-term effect of sustained use of the medication are unknown. Other drawbacks of atropine treatment include discomfort and light sensitivity from prolonged people dilatation, blood near vision, and the added expenses of the child needing bifocals or progressive eyeglasses lens during treatment to be able to read clearly since his or her near focusing ability is affected. And also when the pupil is dilated, there are a risk of UV radiation. So you have to give the glass with photo and this is also a cost factor. Now come to orthokeratology. Orthokeratology is the use of specially designed gas permeable contact lens that means RGP, rigid gas permeable contact lens that are old during sleep at night to temporarily correct nearsightedness and other vision problems so glasses and contact lens are not needed during week hours during waking hours but some eye specialists use ortho K lenses to also control myopia progression in children evidence suggests nearsightedness kids who undergo several years of ortho keratology may end up with less myopia as an adult compared with children who wear eyeglasses or regular contact lens during the peak years for myopia progression. Many eye care practitioners refer to these lenses as corneal receiving lens or corneal refractive therapy CRT lenses rather than ortho lens though the lens design may be similar. Now come to multifocal contact lenses. Multifocal contact lenses are special lenses that have different power in different zones of the lens to correct presbyopia as well as nearsightedness or farsightedness with or without astigmatism. But researchers and eye specialists are finding that conventional or modified multifocal soft contact lenses also effective tools for myopia control. Multifocal eyeglasses. Multifocal eyeglasses also have been tested for myopia control in children, but results have been less impressive than those procedures with multifocal contacts. A number of studies published between 2000 and 2011 found that wearing multifocal eyeglasses doesn't provide a significant reduction in progression of myopia for most children. The Correction of Myopia Evolution Trial, a study published in 2003, found that progression eyeglasses lenses compared with regular single vision lenses did show myopia progression in children by a small but statistical significant amount during the first year but the effect wasn't significant in the next two years of the study. Detecting myopia early. The best way to take advantage of methods to control myopia is to detect nearsightedness early. Even if your child is not complaining of vision problems, nearsightedness kids often are excellent in start student and have no visual complaint when reading or doing other schoolwork. It's important to schedule routine eye examination for your children starting before they enter preschool. Early childhood eye examination are especially important if you or your spouse are nearsighted of your child's other siblings have myopia or other vision problems. What about myopia control in adults? Myopia typically develops during the early school years and tends to progress more rapidly in pre-teens than in older teenagers. This is why myopia control studies usually involve relatively young children. While it's true that myopia also we can develop and progress in young adults, this is less common and it's possible that an adult's eyes may not respond to myopia control treatment the same way a child's eye do. For this reason, it's likely that most research on controlling myopia progression will continue to focus on nearsighted children rather than adults. Can an eye exercise cure myopia? You no doubt have seen or heard advertisement on television and the internet that claim eye exercise can reverse myopia and even, even, even can it correct your eyesight naturally. Some of these eye exercise program recommended you ask your eye specialist to write you an eyeglass prescription that intentionally under correct your nearsightedness for full time wear as an, as an adjunct treatment to performing the exercise. The claim is that the exercise and under correction of your myopia will reduce your nearsightedness. 
so you will need less vision correction as time goes on. It's odd, nothing there that researchers have shown under correction of myopia is ineffective at slowing myopia progression and may in fact increase the risk of nearsightedness getting worse. Also, also, inter oh, sorry, also intentional under correction of myopia causes bad distance vision which may put your child at, disabled, at a disadvantage in this classroom or in sports and affect their safety. My opinion and the opinion shared by most eye specialists and vision researchers is that eye exercise do doesn't cure myopia are highly suspected and are not supported by well-designed independent research. So friends, this is it. Please stay safe, stay healthy, bye.